Today at ShopDap.com, we're going to be doing an oil change DIY on our 1.8T VW Alltrack. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing an oil change on this car. Uh, this is a, an all track with a 1.8T engine. All Volkswagen and Audi 1.8T current models with the TSI 1.8T would pretty much be the exact same as this. So we're gonna show you the process with uh, us sucking out the top and then we're gonna drain it from the bottom to see how much oil we actually have left over. But this process is gonna be very simple, uh, but we're gonna give you two options for doing your oil change on your car. Uh, so let's start with sucking it out uh, with our oil extractor. So we're going to start by popping our engine cover off. This is mostly just so we can see here. So we, right here we have our oil filter and then we have our dipstick here and then your oil cap here. So that we can take off and you always, before you're, you're changing oil, you always want to check your oil level to make sure that you don't have an issue beforehand. So we're going to check our oil level and we are actually slightly overfilled, but it's all good. So. This oil level is good, so we can proceed with changing our oil. Now, again, in this one, we're gonna be showing you both methods. So we're, right now, we're just gonna take that out, and then we're gonna take our oil suction tool here, the extractor, and, and start draining this thing. You can take your extractor and just drop it down through the dipstick tube to allow you to pump out the oil. So the controversy with this type of method, people say this is not a good way to change to drain your oil or use to change your oil due to the fact that it doesn't get everything out the idea behind that is is that because you're basically sucking it up from the pan that it that it's going to leave some in the bottom so what we're going to do is we're going to drain it to the best of our ability like this and then we're going to get underneath and pop the drain plug so you can see underneath uh, so if you wanted to change it that way that would be an option and then you also would will be able to see how much we missed or was left over inside here Okay, so now we're gonna crack our oil filter housing loose, this 32 millimeter socket. If you don't have one, we have them on our site, and Nathan will link to them in the description where you can purchase one, along with this, all the other items you'll see along this video, including this nifty oil extractor. Uh, the thing you'll wanna do is, before you try to finish suctioning everything, you will wanna make sure you take this oil filter out if you're suctioning this way, and really if you're changing oil as well, to get this thing at least sitting like this so it allows the air to get in there because it will kind of trap oil in there if you don't loosen this before you're draining everything out. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish sucking out. If this thing's basically sucking the last bit of oil plus some air. So you can see that's kind of cavitates the lines a little bit, but we're gonna try to get the last bit we can out. So here we have our extractor. This thing is pretty full. So you can take a look here. There are marks here and you can see that's the six liter mark. And this thing is pretty full. So the capacity of this engine, uh, I can't imagine that we're gonna get much of anything left there because you can see this thing was, this thing was emptied right before we started and we're right at the six liter mark. So now we're going to finish up. We'll put a new oil filter on this and then we'll lift it up and drain it. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our seal off and just take a pick and run this guy around to lift that up and you can take this off and then we pop our new one on and then just run this guy around now one thing i want to pay and make a note about is these mqb cars have a couple different styles of this setup they did supersede the um the style which if you break your old one of of these guys whatever you might call this uh you have to replace the the oil cap uh, or, the, or the filter cap. The, fortunately, they're not particularly expensive, but it, unfortunately, there is no other alternative. If you do break yours, which we've had quite a few customers contact us who had broken ones, uh, you would need to replace the whole housing. So just FYI when you're dealing with that. So we'll pop that on. Uh, we're gonna wipe this down and then I'm going to uh, just throw this in place. We're not going to tighten it down yet because we want to make sure, again, we leave as much air flowing through as possible to make sure we get out as much oil as we can. Okay, so we are going to film uh, taking our belly pan down. This 
car because it's not really complete and we've removed the fender liners and that stuff it's not going to be exactly what you would do there's going to be some torque screws on the sides here but uh the all tracks do have skid plates so for anybody who's looking to you can retrofit this which is going to be much more secure than your other stuff the all track stuff also uses supports that actually uh, go to the frame rail in the front so these things are much more sturdy than pretty much anything that's out there i think other than anything that's supported that actually has uh, an actual support bracket or brace it, bracing anywhere. Uh, so that's an option for anybody looking to do that. Thanks. Oh, this is heavier than I expected. Okay, so Mark 7, or really all MQB have a specific drain plug. You can use a screwdriver, they will kind of mar it up a little bit, but uh, this kind of a twist half turn thing. So this is the special tool, we'll link to it in the description. And again, remember, here's what we're doing. I don't expect to have too much oil come out of here. This is just a residual of what we didn't get with our extractor. So let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so now we're down to a drip and you can see there is a there's some oil here, but not a ton and we are going to install actually we're going to be installing our magnetic drain plug. This is something that if you are going to be using an extractor to change your oil, it is not a bad idea to have a magnetic one. This will make sure any contaminants or anything like that you catch. And so we can just stick that in. You will want to lubricate that seal first. And because this is a half turn, this thing doesn't really do much except for keep it from, from going backwards. So really, once you kind of get this thing in here, you use a flathead and just turn it in. And as soon as this thing hits bottom, it's, it's in place. All you're doing is basically when you have that seal in place is preventing it from backing down. So we're gonna get that guy all the way in and we're gonna wipe this thing down. There was kind of what appeared to me, to me, to be a little bit of seepage. So they may have reused that drain plug a bunch of times, which could happen for people who are doing DIYs. The seal on our, uh, our drain plugs are serviceable. So uh, they are something that you would wanna replace. The drain plug isn't to be replaced every time like the factory one, but the seals are intended to be replaced. So that would be something that you would swap out when you're doing oil changes or when you remove it necessarily. If you're changing oil this way, uh, you, would, you would swap it out. So uh, let's take a look at our oil and how much we got. So obviously you can't really tell how much this is. So we have an old coolant bottle that we're using just to show you obviously 100, 200, 300 milliliters. We're gonna give you an idea of actually how much was not caught by actually using so it looks like it's roughly around 150 milliliters. Okay, so 150 milliliters is roughly about 0.159 quarts. So uh, obviously we haven't lost a lot of, that we missed when we were doing it through the extractor. This is something that if you're changing your oil regularly, I would say that's not an amount that I would personally worry about. You're gonna be filtering that, you're gonna be replacing it obviously as you're doing oil changes. And as long as you're doing regular maintenance, that's to me, that's a neg negligible amount that I wouldn't suspect would be a major concern. So either way is an option. Some people only feel comfortable with one or, or the other, uh, but clearly we did not miss a significant amount of oil. Okay, so now we are going to install our oil filter. We have it in there. We have our new seal on. You will want to make sure you take a little bit of oil and run it around there to make sure this seal will go on there cleanly and get a good seal. And we are going to tighten this guy down and you will have the torque specs on the top of this here. So we're just going to snug this guy down. And then we are going to put oil in it using our funnel. So this is our locking funnel. They, this has an adapter for MQB cars or it also fits a bunch of other stuff. You may have seen this in our previous cars, but this has an adapter for these cars. So you can just put this guy in here, lock it in like that, and you, then you lock it in like this. So this kind of has multi-purpose use because it goes on more than one, just one car. Okay, we're gonna put our dipstick in and then we're gonna start this up so that we can get the oil running through the system and then check our oil level. The official level I believe on these is 5.8 liters. Uh, so that should be roughly what you wanna do. But what you always wanna do is as we did there, 
is get it kind of close and then start it up, get the oil running through the system, and then check your oil level like we just did. And we're gonna do it again, verify that you, we are accurate. And if you take a look, that we are about at the halfway point. After you've cycled your engine, started it to fill up the oil filter, and then rechecked it, we have now completed our DIY oil change. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.